we have the best statistical player of the day Remember first eight as well. in Ryan Joyce against the ever dangerous Dave Chisnell who scared a nine daughter in the last leg of his semi contrast hey, of Ryan experience in PDC first. finals coming up someone in there first that man there Ryan Joyce bullseye against Dave Chisnell who was definitely not in his first final Yep, one 25. for Joyce. So Ryan's won the ball. 41 and counting for Dave Chisnell. 15 of them converted into titles, including three in 2019. Of course, if Chisnell does win this match, that will see him go top of 58. the mini order of merit that has been held for the Summer Series. Whoever finishes at the top of the pile will qualify for the Grand Slam, so that will put him in a provisional spot. Ryan Joyce, as I mentioned at the start of this, has moved already into a provisional spot for the world match player. If he wins this match, Paul, he's got one foot already, well, one foot back in Milton Keynes. Yeah, he's very, very safe for the time being. But it would give him great confidence going into the next three days. Let's not forget about that. There's a lot more money up for grabs. More titles. And more confidence to be had. We have to just make it clear that whoever tops the order of merit, yes, does get a Grand Slam cool. spot. But if that is topped by someone who already has a spot in the Grand Slam, it will not then be handed to the next best person. Yeah, so Michael Van Gerwen currently on top, of course, has already qualified by winning the UK Open. But Dave Chisnell could leapfrog him. 137. Avoided a clash with MVG this afternoon. Chisnell was due to meet him in round four, but Mike Kivenhoven defeated Van Gerwen in round three. Chisnell duly beat him. Well, 77 left here. Forty-two. Bit of a mess from Joyce there, and Chisnell looking to make him pay. Always takes a few extra seconds when he needs them, Dave Chisnell. Great, great dart. Didn't look too comfortable on that first shot of double twelve. Game shot. But the second one is dead in there to get himself in front. Utilising experience to get an early break against the PDC final Greenhorn, who had a not a poor day yesterday. He didn't play really badly against Callan Rids, but he's gone from losing in the first round to being in the final, and that's the swings you have to get used to in PDC darts sometimes. 180. That is 180 number 21 for Ryan Joyce. Dave Chisnell himself also had 20 going into this final. Midway through the semi-finals, Ryan Joyce was leading that race, but it helps when you get a couple of 180s in your last leg of the semi to get yourself on level terms. You wouldn't necessarily think that Ryan Joyce could 59. stay in the 180 race with Dave Chisnell, but he has today. That's one of the reasons why he's in this final. Well, it is some run from Ryan Joyce this afternoon. 140. Being former world finalist in Andy Hamilton in the first round, a uh, world youth champion in Luke Humphreys in the second, then Chris Doby, who we all know how capable he is, Maddus Razma, who'd been on a decent run himself, and then Glenn Durrant and Gary Anderson, multiple world champions to reach 92. the final. Not been showing a lot of emotion as well. He's just been plodding along, doing his own thing, and being Ryan Joyce, and most of the time that's good enough. Double 12 again. I'm getting deja vu. Game shot. And it's almost the same hole as the first leg. Deja vu as Chisnell doubles his lead. I see what you did there. 100. Very good from the experienced Chisnell. He mentioned the amount of finals he's been in the PDC. I was quite flummoxed by that statistic. I didn't realise that he'd been in so many of them. Yeah, nine-year stretch in the PDC for Dave Chisnell. 
perhaps the fact that he's lost all of the biggest ones can obscure how successful he really has 96. been in that time. Yeah, you'd put him in the same sort of bracket as maybe a Simon Whitlock, a Colin Lloyd. Great players of their time, and a couple of them are still going, of course, you know, in himself 60. and Simon, who has played very, very well the last couple of days, but is still on the chopping block when it comes to the world match play. We'll have to see where he stands on Sunday night, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow from 12 o'clock to see how day three goes, but it's all about day two in the final right now. And Ryan Joyce is starting to score a little bit better in leg three. Another treble. 100. Would have got Chisnell down to a checkout. But Ryan Joyce can just breathe a little easier. 131. Good use of the cover shot there. To set up double top for his return. He's going to be under pressure. 100. Well, Dave backed himself to get that second treble. May have been more prudent to go for the 25 and bolt. Game but shot. maybe he thought that the leg was over and he was right. There you see that flat angle of how Ryan gets his darts to land with those very small pear-shaped flights. 140. The exact opposite for Chizzy, getting those very long arrows, long stems, big flights to land very upright. That's one of the reasons 60. why he's so good at hitting 180s because he provides a very good backboard for his second and third dart if he gets the first one right. Cast your mind back, Paul, to the 10th of August, 2008. 41. Because the question is, how do you feel going into your first PDC final? How did you feel then when you faced off against Robert Thornton? It was weird for me because I was told 180. that if I beat Pat O'Reil in the semi-finals... I'd not only qualify for the Grand Slam of darts, but also the World Championships. So no pressure in that game. When I won that semi-final, I thought the pressure was off. And I took the first set against Robert. I felt very, very good because I knew I was going to my first Worlds. I knew I was going to the Grand Slam. I was on a high. And after taking the first set against Robert in what was best of three sets then, best of three legs a set, Robert then took the next three sets and took the title. Do you think Ryan Joyce is the kind of guy to be worrying about what's going on in the match play race? Or would he just be seeing this as a bit of a free roll, really? No, Ryan Joyce is the kind of person who doesn't worry about anything. He is borderline horizontal. One hundred and So relaxed. Well, both players have hit maximums in this leg. Chisnell looking to take it on tops. Game shot. And does so dead centre just to... Keep hold of that two-leg cushion. It was a, almost a year to the day later that you got your first win. Also against Robert Thornton, Paul. He, he must be enjoying this trip down to his championship memory lane. Same venue. Uh, sorry, same event. Australian Open. 2008 in Shoalhaven Heads. And then a year later, it was in Coogee Bay in Sydney. And 99. I managed to find myself in the final with the same guy. It was... A privilege to play those two games with the all-time great Robert Thornton. And then the third one, obviously the big one on the TV. Players Six. champion. Of all the players on the tour now, do you think Dave Chisholm is the, the one perhaps most deserving of a major title that hasn't got one yet? For me, he's the best player who hasn't won one, unquestionably. 96. His scoring prowess, his genuine ability. I really do think that it's not so much a crime that he hasn't won a major. It's just very unusual that he hasn't got a, uh, a PDC major on the mantelpiece. But this week has already shown that he still has that innate ability to play top-level stuff and to worry the best players in the world. 79. Most recent attempt for Chisnell came at the World Grand Prix last year. Beaten by MVG in the decider at the City West. 93. But he did play better in that final. I'd love to see him in a, a match play final potentially in this very building. And it had, been, it had been quite a while between drinks for Dave Chisnell then as well. 
Yeah, change of dart manufacturers last year seems to have aided his cause Ballsy. to refresh what he wants to do for the future. And Joyce is 100 in front here, but by no means across the line as Chisner looks for the 138. Now the 140, which he gets and forces Joyce to take this away. If he doesn't, he's in huge trouble. 54. Earns himself 54. two bites of the double 12 cherry. That becomes one at double six. Game shot. And he has taken it. Well, these lads do practice together. There's a, a cluster of players that usually hang out at Pro Tour events. Not so much at this event because they're restricted to two players aboard. 180. With the usual circumstances, you'd find Chris Dolby and Richard North and Josh Payne. Ryan Joyce, Adam Hunt, it's the same crew all the time. They follow each 59. other around and play lots of games of bingo to warm themselves up for these particular challenges. And I'm not talking about the stuff where you have to have a marker pen in your hand. I'm talking about a game of darts bingo. We have to get lots 97. of big checkouts. It is one of the changes that the players have had to contend with. They actually can only practice on their allocated board pre-tournament now. So the players that they're going to be playing against on the same practice board how big an effect might that have on certain players that they haven't got that kind of comfort blanket of their entourage I think there's a lot of players already said that they don't like it but they've had to just adapt it's the way the world is right now and speaking of a player this morning I won't name names because I don't think that's fair but this player said to me that he didn't like the fact that he had to practice on the same board as his opponent. Dave Chisnell for 4-2. 50 Misses, seven. and Ryan Joyce cannot take advantage on that bogey number. But if it was me, Murph, I'm not sure I'd be too happy about being forced to practice on the same board 96. as my opponent. Of course, you're not forced to practice. You can sit down <laughs> and wait. True. But that's not good when you're coming into an important event like this. Another go at double Game 16. Shot. This time, Chisnell gets it right. Look, they couldn't practice together, so they've decided to wait until everybody else has gone and just played the final instead. Chisnell halfway 59. to glory here. Yeah, we're not going to see a great deal of gesticulating and face turning here. These are two very, very quiet players when you play against them. They just get on with things. The likelihood of controversy in this match is about nil, I would say. Yeah, Dev Chisnell never lets anything affect him. Has was showcased in the semi-final when Aspinall... Got all worked up about a little bit of noise coming from the adjacent board. Chisnell just kept calm and carried on. 56. Dave's daughter, Lexi, is a very, very good gymnast. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. 94. I am now. Michaela Chisnell. Dear's wife does post on social media how proud she is of young Lexi and she should be. I wonder if she can be as good at gymnastics as her daddy is at darts. Be great to see Lexi Chisnell at the Olympics one day, maybe. 168. That's an Olympian throw there from Chizzy. It is pummeling the trebles. And he'll come back because Joyce has been unable to clean up 106 and now Chisnell can really put himself in command of this final well, the averages have been good Chisnell over 106 before this leg began has to adjust we have to adjust a little bit more no score. And that was a really bad first start because it just scuppered all of his chances and Joyce is getting a bonus shot here. Never looked likely there, Dave Chisnell. Come back to that in a moment. But Joyce has 
One dart left, double eight the target, can't 40. find it. In that last visit, Dave Chisholm stepped forward and he, he almost looked like he wanted to step back again, which he does quite often and didn't. And he caused himself a, a bit of a barricade that he couldn't break through. Game shot. No need to move when you've got it like that. In the bank. And he is more than halfway there now. To a 16th title. Yeah, great stuff from Dave Chisnell. An average of 104 and change there. Ryan Joyce 100. not disgracing himself with his performance level in the final, but missing a couple of crucial opportunities along the way. We could talk about the action of Dave Chisnell and, of course, the 100. thrutchy action that we see from him sometimes. Does it ever cross your mind, Murph, that if that action was a tiny bit smoother? Great timing. A great example great of that. timing, Paul. If he could eliminate darts like that, imagine how good he could be in the future. That's a scary prospect because I don't think he's playing his best in this final and he's still averaging 104. 60. It is remarkable. The amount of times you see him throw that dart and it somehow finds its way into the treble 20 is quite astonishing as well. well I used to practice with Dave Chisholm every Tuesday at the Gordon Club in Morecambe. Oh, 45. And he would absolutely take me to school every Tuesday. He was unplayable every single week. 137. Joyce still fighting. He's put himself in a promising position to break 59. back in this leg and that will help his cause. Just got to stay in there, got to stay in touch. Get the 5-3. 60. Try and deny Chisnell the opportunity of getting to 6. If Chisnell gets to 7-3, that's going to be too many opportunities for Dave to get over the line. 140. And as a result of that 140 from Chizzy, the 144 might have to be hit. Wasn't a bad effort. That might have been in the 60 if it wasn't for the first dart. 132. Cleaned it up nicely, but if Dave Chisnell cleans this up, then it might be too tough a task for Ryan Joyce to come back and win this final. Two darts at double ten, becomes one at double five. Game shot. And Chisnell finds it and finds himself 6-2 ahead and two away from the title. Did you see Ryan Joyce's face as soon as that 60 went in? It was one of... Oh, right, okay, so it's like that. It's going to be 6-2, and I'm going to have to win 96. a bunch of legs on the trot. Well, he is a realist, Ryan Joyce. If you remember the build-up to the World Championship quarter-final against Michael Van Gerwen, he basically admitted he lost 100. before the game even started. Of course, he went up on the stage and gave his best, but the way Michael Van Gerwen played in that tournament, Ryan Joyce knew that he would have to... Uh, be off his game for him to stand any chance then just a mark of how relaxed he is doesn't overthink many things it may have been an attempt at the Four, ultimate want. ploy of reverse psychology no it's not trust me he I know Ryan well enough to know that he, he's not capable of re reverse psychology well he is capable of throwing treble 20s 138 didn't think that he could fit another one in there. Does like a low dart, doesn't he? Because he do sit down. 44. Dave Chisner looking for his first title of 2020. Picked up three in 2019. Went on a little run, actually, in February and March on the floor. Beating Glenn Durant and then Daryl Gurney before adding the Danish darts open in June last year. So all three of those will actually have come off his Pro Tour Order of Merit ranking before this series of events. He's lost a big chunk through the course of the pandemic. Joyce, 416 and takes 77 the other way to what most people would do, but there's nothing wrong with that when your opponent can't do anything about it. Six legs to three, one down, and he has to keep this going. He has to maintain, 58 for me, between four and five visits, taking his chances and getting close to Dave and denying him the opportunity of getting to seven. Yeah, quite right. 
a break of throw here 60. would really put a different complexion on this final. But if Chisnell can hold firm, time is ticking for Ryan Joyce. I was talking to Peter Wright this morning and I asked him how he felt in yesterday's final. 134. And he said he felt tired going into the final. And I think even with his experience, you have to understand that not having this long day of darts for quite some time, they're not as used to the tournament days. These two guys are going to be tired during this. Peter Wright was defiant yesterday and probably should have won that title. However, I think it's about who 99. has got the most residual energy left to get the job done here. And Chizzy has had a little bit more than Ryan. Yeah, interesting point because today has been perhaps closer to normality. One hundred tournament starting at the scheduled time. There were some slight delays because of test results pending for yesterday's tournament. But even though the tournaments 96. will feel normal in terms of how they run for the rest of the week, as the week goes on, some players are going to be more and more fatigued. You have to let that adrenaline 121. feed your game. You have to use it to its full potential. Chisnell has choices from 114. He might go looking at 19s here. Now, does he go 57, 38? Could have gone 45 bull if he wanted the open no, bed. Left. That is the risk of the 114 on 19s. If you block it, 98. going low for the 57, you have to try and find it some other way. Joyce, to be within two after 10 legs of this final. It was always going to be a hard dart for him. The way they land, he'll be grateful of a 30. chance at a clear bed, but he hasn't taken the opportunity, and that could be the moment that this match got away. He's showing tiredness, Murphy really is, and Dave looks way fresher. Starting to show a little bit of a grimace in the background there. He'll be grimacing more if this double eight goes. Oh, that's a horror dart. Oh, Game what shot. a dart that is, though. Finds the bottom corner. Call him Ronaldo Chisnell. How has he found that? That's a wonderful dart. 93. One leg away from another PDC title. 57. Had a bit of a drought before last year where he picked up multiple stuff. 96. But if there's one thing I know about Dave Chisnell, it is the fact that if he gets the title here, it will give him the belief to go and get more. 100. He's used to winning titles every single season. And if there isn't a, a massive gap between titles, he's usually picking them up all the time with confidence and keeping that streak going. 140. He's only had one drought in his 10-year career in the PDC. Well, Joyce still scrapping. 60. But this leg is a bit of a free hit for Dave Chisnell. And you want to wrap it up in the next one when he's throwing first. 100. Too many times we've seen that hooking action after he's thrown the dart. 90. Do maintain if he could eliminate that. Could go up another level. Double three for Ryan Joyce. Game shot. Great shot. Gets back within three. But he still needs to win four straight against a dangerous Dave Chisnell to get his first title. Yeah, Dave Chisnell has 15 titles under his belt in the PDC. An experienced winner, particularly in these players' championship events. 140. And he's closing in on another. 140. I just realized something as well. These guys have won the same title. The BDO Gold Cup. Quite a few years apart, though. Dave won it back in 
2007. 96. Ryan won it nine years later. Actually, ten years later, I think it was. Well, Joyce, incidentally, did win their only meeting last year. That was 6-5 at a Players' Championship event, but Chisnell has... 27. ...beaten Ryan twice in professional PDC meetings. There's a chance here for Ryan Joyce to get himself back into this. Bit of a risky dart, that last one. Had to go for the 19s, though. It didn't really have a choice. Oh, Chisnell just lost his range at the wrong time here. 44. Bit of finish line fever, perhaps. Well, that is not a 25 or a bullseye. 84. It would be typical Dave if he was to finish on double 18. In order to do so, he needs two treble 20s. This is for the title. That's in. That one, he went for yep. the top right corner. Well, Ryan Joyce Great. just looked like a fan in a front row seat there, admiring 118. the effort of Dave Chisnell. Well, that is a wild dart. I can't even see where it went in the end. Game shot. Tidied it up in the end. Even that might bring a smile to Ryan Joyce's face because he didn't hesitate after that bad first dart. He knew exactly what he needed. But it was a massive, massive dart. It's kept him in this final. Tizzy's let one chance 96. slip from his grasp. Golden rule, though, Murph. He hasn't afforded his opponent a match dart yet. How do you beat people? 130. Don't let them have a match dart. Ryan Joyce is doing that so far. And Dave Chisnell 96. went 7-4 ahead in this match. He would have been a brave man to say that he won't get a match start, and he'd still be a brave man to suggest that now. But Ryan Joyce has not allowed him one yet, even after that 43. terrible slip with the first start in the previous checkout attempt. Well, Ryan's average is climbing. He's up at 99 now, and it is climbing even higher. More so now. He is on the fly right now. Seems to have got his second wind in this final. And Chisnell and his average are going the other way. 60. He's not getting trebles. Just looks a bit unsettled. Will Ryan Joyce go for this? 92. I think that was the intention, but in the end, he's tidied it up very nicely indeed and is one dart away from being one leg away from Dave Chisnell. How important is this next leg potentially now? If Ryan takes us out in 13, 100. 14 or 15, the next leg takes on huge importance. Game shot. 7-6 Chisnell now. He keeps on going. Is this the best opportunity for Dave Chisnell to get that title? If he does not get it in this leg, he will have to break Ryan Joyce for the title. Well, there you see how the averages have flip-flopped. Joyce now into three figures. Dave Chisel in the mid-90s and seemingly dropping rather than rising. 83. That could be a big result, that, for Dave Chisel, that dark going into treble one. We saw the first final on the summer series go all the way down to a last leg shootout. Are we going 59. to get... A similar outcome today. Very different games. For me, this one's had a few nervy darts involved. That big seven, 100. followed by the big nine, then the double 16 from Relentless. How much are we going to talk about that later in the season? Well, Michael Van Gerwen needed to win three legs on the spin to turn it around against Peter Wright. And did Ryan Joyce needed four here against Dave Chisnell? He's got two of them. Might need another. Gets 140. Another. This is so close. One treble. We'll really please Dave Chisnell here. We'll put him on a very, very manageable out, but no treble. 97. Could have spelt trouble. 
Tremendous last start though. And it is a one treble out now. 98. Had to move. Couldn't possibly have that 20 on the floor if he'd have hit that dart. But this treble one, which is now 92. Double 16 for title 16. 79. Double 16. Eludes Dave Chisnell and Ryan Joyce has one last chance to stay alive. Can he climb to the top? 40. Too high. Chisnell will come back. Three darts in hand. This is the moment you want. It's for a title. It's a double he likes. And he's got three darts for it. This is all you could possibly wish for when you woke up this morning. Again, it's double 16 for title 16. Double eight. 16. And he cannot find a way. Dave Chisnell wobbling at the death. And double top Gage takes shot. us to sudden death in this final. One leg for title number one for Ryan Joyce. What a position to be in. What value you're getting for your money on hey, PDC TV in the finals the last couple of days. Both of them going to the wire. And this one shouldn't have. Match starts 140. By Dave Chisnell. One at the end of the 111 attempt and then three clear darts that double. 58. He has had the better start in the decider and has effectively taken the darts already. The experience is starting to tell from the man in yellow. 140 to start a sudden death final leg of the day. That's a sign of someone who has been here before. Oh, One fair play, Ryan Joyce. What a response. Ryan's resistance goes on. Where have they found this from? How do they do this at this point? Adrenaline Murph. He's going to leave tops, and he's going to ask Chisnell if he can check 86 for today's win. Two single 18s for Bull. Another single. Got to guarantee the single here. Match dot number five at the Bull. 50. Well, it was wild in the end from Chisnell. Another match dart goes begging, and now Ryan Joyce's chance has come. Game and it is joy and for Joyce. Joyce. Sweet success on the Summer Series. A first PDC title for relentless Ryan Joyce. But it was handed to him by Dave Chisnell, who missed five for the win himself.